Hello, hello, what? It's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes and I'm back with more Lara Croft and Tomb Raider. And um, you know, the last video was a bit of a downer. Uh, we saw our hopes for rescue go down in a fire Lara, or a plane crash. What the hell happened? This storm, it came out of nowhere. These clouds, they just surrounded the plane. Lara, listen, I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Just get back here safe. All right. On my way. And as those flashes of lightning remind us of what happened in the previous episode and that conversation with Roth, um, the Nautilus 1777A? <laughs> anyway, that plane, that big old cargo plane, got brought down by two freak thunderbolts that seemingly were brought down by Queen Himiko herself. We heard a strange disembodied voice echoing through the mountains that said no one will be escaping, or something to that effect, and now we're pretty much screwed. But interestingly enough, it looks like Roth is somehow back on his feet, and he is close to our position because he saw the plane crash from where he was, and now we're just going to go ahead and regroup with him. We have to find another way off this island. So how was your day? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is uh, part eight of the Let's Play series. So far, I'm enjoying this very much. I like the uh, pacing of the story and also the balancing of that with action sequences very much so far. We are on the Ocho, so I'm fully invested in this Let's Play series, and hopefully, of course, I can finish Dead Space 3 as well. Whoa, I am in a trap, and there are people around me. Oh, hell. I'm gonna have to do some upside-down fighting here. Got it. Thank God for that three-round burst upgrade, or else I wouldn't have dropped that guy with the dual machetes. Rope. Huh. Okay. Uh, how is that going to help us here in this firefight? Shoot rope arrows. Oh, we can pull it down. Awesome. Oh, wait. Did I even have to press square? I don't know. <laughs> so that is the mechanic I was waiting for for those rope doors. We can go ahead and pull them down. Go ahead and fight fire with fire here. Actually, I think it wants us to use the rope arrows, so... Wait, how do I use them? <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, I guess uh, I don't use them. There's something that's a little bit automatic. Or maybe I missed the whole tutorial on that. Let's go ahead and beam this guy and get this encounter over with. Does anyone really grab their face when they get hit with a headshot? Press R2 when using the bow. Got it! Okay, so it's a secondary fire on the bow. So let's go ahead and uh, try it out here. Maybe we can bring this guy down? Yeah, and I didn't really have to press any other buttons to have Laura automatically pull it down. Uh, that would have taken out those guys there. And I'm assuming this, if we shot this, it would pull down their cover, make them easier to hit. How about over here? Uh, pulls that down, and then I'm guessing we can use it as a platform to explore the area. Got it. Alright, pretty interesting new mechanic that we just discovered here. Let's make sure I didn't uh, miss anything here. Of course, looting the bodies. <laughs> Always looting the bodies. Anyway, I'm wondering if those little traps... Those little, like, uh, those, these little foot snare traps, I'm wondering if uh, they're going to become more commonplace moving forward. It's a box. Can I get to it? You know, I keep on underestimating Lara's jumping ability. <laughs> For, like, no reason. She's a pretty good jumper. Let's go ahead and climb up here. I'm guessing that we can climb up to this and use this to get up to the wood structure. Yep. Again, I mean, she has a surprisingly long range with her with her jumps, so... I guess Uncharted should have taught me better than that. Is there any way I can head up there? Probably. I'm wondering if there's stuff up there. And there is. And interestingly enough, if something looks too high to jump up to, we can do a wall scramble just like that to get up there. 
no problem at all. A whole bunch of new stuff to pull down, so I'm wondering if there's going to be an encounter. Pull this archway down. Oh, did I just waste an arrow? Maybe I shouldn't have let go of uh, R1. Let's try this again. Or L1, rather. Huh, guess I'm not strong enough. I wasted two arrows there. That looks like a good spot to hook into. Oh! Okay, alright. Like uh, all these interesting new things that they're making out with these ropes. Um, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and tie off right here. Oh, use rope arrows near anchor posts. Got it. So, maybe I have to stand right here and then try this again. Perfect. It's interesting. I just used a rope, or I just used an arrow. And I assume that would have depleted my ammo, sticking it onto this far archway here. But when I picked up that tried to pick up that spare quiver down there, it said I already had full full ammo, and I certainly do. I have 30, so I'm guessing rope arrows, for some reason, don't use ammo. Just a little strange. Unless I, I totally missed something with the animation there. Okay, looks like we could pull that door open. Anything else here besides arrows? Doesn't look like it. Can we get up here? Potentially we can. So what we're going to do is, I'm assuming that since there are no posts here to tie off to, that we're going to have to... Oh, hell, I think I screwed myself. <laughs> I probably should have um, done the arrow and shot up there. Oh, no. Oh, man, did I miss out on stuff up there? This sucks. I'm wondering if I can still... Um... Oh man, it, I don't see any way to get back across. Okay, it's barricaded off, so even if I fall into the water, I don't think I'm gonna die, you know, go off a, a waterfall. Okay, good. Let's try this again. This time... Ah! There we go. Stick it to here, and then we'll climb up and get to this box. Perfect. And I think at the start of the video, you might have noticed that I was looking at a, uh, a post with a flag on it, and I thought it was something that you could interact with it. Interact with. And I'm guessing, you know, all of the uh, rope posts have that little tether as a visual cue, so... You know, I don't feel like going back for it right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you completionists out there are probably you know, shaking your heads, but that seems uh, a little bit too far for my tastes. Okay, let's go ahead and back up. Hold this door open. And again, did it use any of our ammo? Can't really get my, my gun out. Uh, I did not use an arrow. I still have 30 rounds, or 30 arrows. Okay, let's go ahead and head back in. Where are you, Roth? Oh, hey, I'm pretty sure... Ah, yeah, we did. There's the mountain village, so we didn't move around too much. Moved. You and me both, girl. One moment they were fine, the next. There was this storm. It came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Lara. I called them here, Roth. Hey, we'll find another way. Uh, mayday, mayday. The co-pilot, just a bear. Another pilot. One, seven, seven, Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, badly hurt when I landed. I need to bring aid. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal. Please respond. Damn it, he can't hear me. I have to get to him. No. His signal's just over there. We've got our own people to worry about. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. I can't just leave him out there alone. I need to get to him. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lana. You can't save everyone. I know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I can't choose to let him die, Ross. I wonder if uh, his injury has 
dampened his sense of duty. Poor guy. Anyway, I can see why he said, yeah, I, I, I saw the plane come down, because it pretty much came down on top of his head. <laughs> so, um, I thought I saw... Ah, oh, there's the blue smoke. Okay, so we're going to have to get to him in a hurry, but first... <laughs> I like how we say that, but first, let's go ahead and do some upgrades. Uh, I do have a new skill point that I want to assign, and also some new salvage, so... Um, your enemies. This might be interesting because, like I've noted in previous uh, videos when I experimented with melee, I can't really melee them, um, you know, straight on ahead without having the coup de grace signal. So I'm wondering if I blind them first, if I can just go ahead and hit them with the axe or, a, in that case, the previous case, a giant rock. to blind them briefly. I'm wondering if, you know, when they're blinded, I can I can then hit them with a coup de gras. Oh, here we go. Awesome. To strike with the axe. And now we can stun them. Perfect. Before, I suppose, you know, Lara didn't have the sense of mind to use a large, sharp piercing tool in, in the middle of melee combat, <laughs> but now she realized, hey, you know, this might actually work. Uh, okay, so the axe strikes themselves right here. The, the, the skill that I mastered, it's only for stunning enemies and won't do, you know, real lasting damage until I get to this guy right here. Deadly stunning blow. I'm wondering if the deadly part means it does damage or if it just stuns them faster. Anyway, let's worry about the, the rest of these melee attacks later, and just apply our stuff. Because very much so, uh, Lara is still a ranged weapon character, that's what I think of her as. Um, let's see if we can max out our upgrades here on our pistol. The pistol's been doing, you know, its job as a sidearm with its ammo capacity just fine so far, so let's see if we can afford anything here. Okay, nothing on our rifle, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, our bow and our axe are still... are still good. I like how the rope arrows just appeared as an upgrade. I was wondering why it jumped to three to three. Three out of three, rather. So let's just go ahead and, um... You know what? Yeah, let's forget the extended mag. I'm gonna go ahead and save up for the rapid-fire mod. It's about 60 salvage away. Can I talk to you, Roth? Oh, I can. If you insist on doing this, don't take your time. I'm sorry, Roth, but I can't just leave him out there alone. All right, Roth. Hold down the fort. Nice enclosed area. They probably won't see you here, even with that fire going. Especially since there's a big plume of blue smoke there. Interesting. There's a lot of interactable objects down there. Whoops, totally missed. This zip line down. This hut looks clear. We ain't gonna find anyone up here. Let's go ahead and head back here first. Damn, I thought I saw Shiny back here anyway. What am I doing on ammo? Still full up? Yeah. I'll get right on. Waste the fucking time. I like how they don't see that big plume of blue smoke. have to deal with this guy later. Unless he's gonna stop. I'm wondering how good Lara's range is with his bow. Oh, please stop. I want to see if I can pull this off. Alright. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> she is deadly accurate, even from range with this thing. That's awesome. Anyone out there? Huh? Bow parts? I'm here, Reyes. What's your situation? We followed a group of men to some kind of city. City? This place is insane, Rock. What the hell are they doing here? I don't know. And I don't. We'll get back to that radio conversation Japanese soon. Herbal medicine, or Campo. Hm. Looks like this vial has been sealed for many years. Are they mushrooms? 
Oh, looks like I'm shaking. The controller shaking here, so let's zoom in. Zoom out. Maybe I can take the top off. No. Well, th these are probably mitake go. mushrooms used to boost the immune system, also known as dancing mushrooms. What? <laughs> Why are they called dancing mushrooms? If anyone knows, you know, I probably won't I remember after this video. Off. Any sign of Sam or Whitman? Nothing yet. Are you with Lara? Yes. We'll be uh, heading down the mountain soon to meet up with you. Okay. We'll try to get in a bit closer. Keep this channel open. Looks like um, <clears throat> Reyes, Jonah, and Alex are in one group. Roth and I are in another. Whitman has gone missing, so has Sam. Anyway, um, if anyone knows why they're called Dancing Mushrooms, definitely let me know. I'm definitely going to forget uh, after the end of this video to even research that, so... You know, I'm just curious. Maybe there is a uh, fungal expert amongst you guys. Hey, is there a book in there? There is a book in there. How the hell do I... Do I just climb straight over? There must be a way to light these little barbed wire fences on fire or to remove them somehow, because otherwise I don't see any way to get inside of here. I mean, logically, you could just go up and over this little barricade here, but, you know, I'm talking about the constraints of the game mechanics. Anyway, um, sorry, book, we're gonna have to abandon you for now. I just wanna... This rabbit's annoying me for some reason. Are you gonna stop there for a minute, bunny? Guess not. Oh, this is... <laughs> I'm wondering if you hit this guy, if you get tons of uh, experience points, because this is a little tricky to hit. Ah. Yeah, I'm wondering if you get a ton of experience points there. Or if you're meant to hit them, you know, once they're stationary, when they don't notice you. Okay, this is annoying, so I'm <laughs> not even going to bother. Whoa, there's two of them. What the hell? <laughs> hey, another statue to light up. Let's go ahead and light this guy up. There you go. Hopefully that's good karma. The zip line's already built for us, so I have to be on the <laughs> I have to be on this little wagon. Okay, stay on the wagon this time, Laura. Come on. There we go. Okay, good thing I took care of this guy earlier. Where's his body? Must have despawned then. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's a shiny. GPS cache again. Okay, there's another zip line that goes down, and... There's another statue right here. I'm wondering how we get to it, though. Looks like that'll be a tricky one to get to. This might be our escape route. Let's go ahead and get closer to the blue plume. That's the signal. You know, if I were the pilot, and if I weren't too badly hurt, I'd probably get away from that signal and onto a vantage point. Interestingly, there's a uh, statue of Queen Himiko up there. I think I saw the, you know, the halo from down, down in the in the valley earlier in the game, and I was wondering if that was, you know, a statue of Queen Himiko. It is. Wait, is this a is this a tie-off post? I honestly can't tell if this is a tie-off post, but I don't see any other way that we're going to get up here, so let's go ahead and waste an arrow at least. Oh, it is! Okay, so I guess tie-off posts are... Uh, they don't need to have that white flag on them, that white tassel. They just need to have this white paint on them. And that'll be the visual cue that you need. Come on, I thought I pressed square there. Let's try this again. Okay, I guess I can't. For some reason, I can't do a running jump. Come on, we gotta oh. get back. Shut up and let me finish. All right, let's go. 
So what's the first thing you're gonna do if you ever get off this rock? <laughs> Eat a good meal. God damn. There's only yeah. two of them here. What's it gonna be? Uh, bird. What? Damn it! God, I have to turn this guy into Boromir in order to in order to drop him. God, it's just a pin cushion. I think that's all of them, though. Let's go ahead and uh, salvage him. Get my arrows back. At least I got three of them back. Let's go ahead and light this guy up. Come on. There we go. Here's another tie-off post. Let's go ahead and see where this place leads, though. Statue of Himiko. Two statues of Himiko. And a wall climbing route. Um, and some rope. Let's go ahead and head up here first. Come on. Interesting. <laughs> this thing sounds really, really creaky, and I am not sure, you know, if I can make that that far of a jump. It looks like it wants us to to try in order to get up there. But I don't know. This looks pretty long even for Lara's standards. I'm wondering if we need an upgrade in order to even make this, but you know, if if I die, I die, but I'm willing to try at least once. Let's try it. Yep, definitely too far. Oh, hey. <laughs> You'd think that would be a grievous injury, but... Fire looks pretty fine. All right. Not hurt at all. I think we should at least break her arm doing that. Um, but yeah, that looks like we're not going to be getting up there anytime soon. What else is over here? Looks like I've been here already. That statue's lit up. Whoa, someone down there? Oh no, that's a lantern, okay. Hopefully this gets up uh, gets us up to where those statues were. Yeah, it does. Okay, great. I like how this uh, this whole section's interconnected with multiple paths. It makes it feel a little bit more natural. A little bit more open world. It's not uh, it's not too hard to get around to multiple places in uh, different ways. Anyway, let's go ahead and climb across. And there's also the fast travel system. I haven't really used that as well. Hey, a secret tomb. Okay. Last time there was a secret tomb, there were, um, there were arrows pointing towards where it would be. I'm guessing this is where the tomb is, since it's, you know, inside a mountain. And to continue onwards with the game's main plot, we just shoot a rope arrow down here. You know what, we have a couple of minutes left in this video, and let's just go ahead and um, do this uh, optional tomb. Let's see what, uh, what we've got in store for us this time. Last time we had that uh, creepy meat bag puzzle. There's some more of the, the cult's red candles. Again, I guess, you know, while we're climbing through this area, it's a good place to revisit. Are you more scared of dark places that are wide open or dark places that are enclosed? For me, it's definitely the former. I hate to be in the thought of a giant cave pitch black more than I do being in a uh, tight place that's enclosed and completely dark. This place is really windy, wow. It, it almost looks like it's one of those um, wind tunnels that uh, people use to test for aerodynamics. It's kind of crazy. Hall of Ascension. <laughs> no, I forgot what the uh, previous tomb was called, but I think it had a si similar naming convention. All of something. Whoa. Okay, so I'm guessing, you know, with these winds, they might alter our jumps. Yeah, 
can definitely tell by the architecture here and the fact that there's a lot of veneration to uh, Queen Himiko on the doorways and everything. Anyway, let's take a look at what we've got in here. We've got a horsey. Hey, horsey. Looks like this thing's made out of solid gold, maybe. Jeez. Pretty heavy, and it's really impressive then that only this much wood is keeping it up. This must be some pretty strong wood. Um, we have this gear mechanism in the middle of the room. Wind tunnel. It looks like the shutters here, there are shutters, so maybe we have to find a way to close them. Let's go ahead and close them. There we go. And that will keep the wind out of the room until we need it. It's a little distracting to have all that stuff gusting in here. Whoa, something breaking? Ah, I see. Okay, so the shutters won't stay closed forever. They'll eventually break wide open one at a time. Looks like the middle section and the top section are about ready to go. And looks like they both go at the same time. Okay. This is a little elevator. Aha! Okay, I think I know what we have to do. Let's go ahead and... This thing unwind so it'll eventually go back down. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and close the shutters. And then I'm going to raise this guy right here. Come on. And then we're going to jump right on top of it before those shutters open up again. Here we go. And that way we can get up to the rafters. Hurry up. Awesome. Oh, you know what? Since we're actually on these things... <laughs> oh, this is a little trickier than I thought it would be. Huh. Okay, let's see what happens when I get off of this thing. Huh. I'm thinking, possibly, we might have to reverse our plan of action. Raise this first. and then close the shutters. Let's try that. Okay. No? Ah, okay. Still no. Okay. And there goes the shutters. Damn. Well, this might be the rest of the video here, guys, so let me go ahead and put this thing down. I need these shutters to break. Come on. Okay, so let's think about this this way. So, when this is raised, i.e. when I pull the crank, it will blow on over that way, and eventually this wind here... Is, oh, looks like the textures here in the game are freaking out a little bit. I'm having a little laser show come out of Lara's leg. So, what we're gonna do is... Let's see here. Wow, this texture warping is a little distracting, especially given its high contrast here. Come on, get on, get on, Laura. Okay, I need those shutters to break now. Ah, my timing is a little bit early here, so I'm probably going to have to wait a bit in order to get this thing raised. 
try it one more time in this video, and if not, you know what, I'll give the PS3 a break here because it looks like something's overheating. And then eventually we'll get this puzzle solved. Let's go ahead and wait for that first shutter to pop open. Okay. And then we'll get this thing raised. And then we'll jump up. There we go. Sometimes, you know, these puzzles take a little trial and error, and I appreciate the fact that Crystal Dynamics decided to put more of these puzzles, you know, in the game instead of chop them out entirely. Looks like we are now in the treasure chamber. Beautiful. Was this part of a larger complex of ruins? <laughs> yeah, it, it has to be, Laura. It has to be. This civilization definitely looked pretty advanced enough to do this advanced engineering inside the side of this mountain. So, I'm pretty sure they have more ruins on this island. Anyway, this laser show out of Lara's leg needs to end, so let me go ahead and really quickly grab the treasure so I can give the PS3 a rest, and then we'll continue um, as soon as this effect has subsided. Just like before. She's amazed at the whole treasure trove here. But she grabs one thing, and handgun parts. Interesting. That reminds me, we have all of our bow parts ready for upgrade at the next base camp. Anyway, guys, uh, like I said, I'm going to give the PS3 a rest here because, wow, the texture warping is getting really bad. Anyway, like, favorite, and subscribe. Leave a comment. And as always, guys, take care. Peace out.